Hey everybody, welcome, Falcon Chasm. We're going to be taking a look at Chasm here today, which is a game by Discord Games over here, as you can see by the title itself over here. The game right now, I think, is only available to Kickstarter backers at the moment. I believe they're aiming for a summer release. I figured it'd be like a perfect time to take a look at it, just to bring it to your attention. If you guys are fans of like Metrovania type of games, you'll be right at home with this. Chasm has a big inspiration by Symphony of the Night, which is actually even talked about by the developer himself. So if you are a fan of Symphony of the Night or just Metrovanias in general, you'll kind of feel really at home with this type of game. Um, I've talked long enough. Let's actually get into the games. So I can just show it off over here and just um, stop with the jibba jabba. It's so my save file. This is something I was just messing around with earlier, making sure that it worked fine. We want to go into new game over here. Select an icon for my save file. Um, let me go with this um, sleeping individual over here, old man. Reminds me of me a lot, except that I don't really sleep because I'm a, unfortunately insomniac. But old falcon kind of goes hand in hand. Either way, normal or hardcore. Experts only scored with perma dead. And you know, for the sake of this, I just don't want to do any perma dead stuff. I want to do some normal just so I can show it off a bit because uh, I'm not sure if my metrovania skills are up to par over here. So let's just go with the old um, Falc over here, just because I'm too lazy to write the entire name. Always lazy, right? Yeah, I know. Alrighty, a letter has arrived to a military outpost in the border of the Kingdom of Gildia. According to the letter, a recent earthquake has uncovered new passages deep in the mines uh, below Catrus. Several of the town's miners have since reported sightings of hideous monsters lurking in the shadows. Puzzled by the outlandish reports, the commander decides to send a new recruit named Dalton to investigate. After weeks of travel, he reaches the remote mining town, and an ominous chill overcomes him. So, we're going to be Dalton over here, as you can see. And that chill is either the weather itself, or just some sort of, like, foreboding prophecy inside of his bones. I'd imagine it's probably the latter, but, you know, have to be a facetious individual every now and then, don't I? Alright, so let's walk over here. I'm playing over here with the um, gamepad itself, so it's weird, because I haven't, I haven't recorded a video game using a gamepad in ages, it feels like. So, it's kind of like a welcome back home type of thing here. So let's check this out over here. Welcome to Cartus, Population 9. That's a pretty small town, if you ask me. I'm not really sure you can even define it as a town. Let's see here, what do we have? This old hag? What's your name? Is it old hag? It's usually pretty, it's pretty much old hag, isn't it? Let's talk to you. Do my eyes deceive me? Another lonely traveler approaches. I have an assortment of magical items for sale. Have a look, won't you? So let's see what her shop is. We probably don't have any money right now to buy anything, but I'm interested to see what the hell we have here. We have Magic Fireball, Silver Ring, Gold Ring, Magic Axe, Tabard, Magic Flames, Turban. Alrighty. And the cool thing about this, like I mentioned, the whole Metrovania thing, there is a, a system where you equip different items, you level up, there's a lot of RPG elements into the game itself. So you level up, you get more, better stats. Each equipment piece that you do fine increases certain stats to kind of, um... Go to the build that you're going with here, if you want to go like a Dexterous build, a Strength build, Agility, Magic, etc, etc. It's all there for you laid out, so think of it a lot like, again, uh, Symphony of the Night, just to harp on that again. I'm not sure what Phil does. Oh, so filling potions at Crone. Okay, so you could basically, if you buy a potion, kind of think of it like Legend of Zelda in a sense. You know, you could kind of come back over here and refill your HP um, potion when you uh, run out of it. Good to know, good to know. Now, the game itself has like this whole pixel graphic type of thing, which I think is actually really endearing. I'm not sure what splashing myself in water just did right now, but I did it just because it was there. Why would I not do it? <laughs> I'm just telling you, if it's there, I'm going to do it. But the art style for the game is actually really, really endearing itself. And this right here, I thought it was like, kind of like a little kickback to Dark Souls, if I could say so, right? You have a fire, you have a bonfire, you have rested the bonfire, I think you regain your energy and you also save, so, um, you know. If you think that is a Dark, Dark Souls reference right there, then it probably is. I wouldn't be surprised if it's not. We have a tavern over here. Can't check that out. It's locked. All right, let's continue going forward. Let me just go through somebody's uh, mailbox just because I'm a scumbag that way. Commander, the situation has become dire since my last letter. It appears the reports of my men were true, and there is indeed something foul lurking below. Or please send help immediately. <laughs> I would imagine he would say, please send me help right now. Fuck immediately, or please send help. Just send me help, dog. JQ Carthus the third. P.S. Please use the enclosed key to enter the mine. Alrighty, so with that, I believe we do have the key now. What is this supposed to be? This is locked, whatever that is. <clears throat> so I guess over time, this probably starts populating a bit more, and then you'll be able to enter into the bar, and probably this area over here to get some tools, or maybe even upgrade your, upgrade your equipment, so we'll see about that one. Carthus Mines. Mine employees only, all others are prohibited. Well, good thing I got this key, because I don't really follow the rules now, do I? Alrighty, and right here, I think it's gonna be your first um, actual... Uh, battled with the dungeon itself. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's go over on this side. Okay. This I can't do much over here. Okay, so, never mind. We'll go to the left instead. Now, the 
layout itself is actually relatively easy, as you can see, because I'm using the control pad to tell me that, you know, X would be to attack, B is to use whatever, maybe the second item that you could equip at some point, jumping, and then you have your uh, dash back over here. So again, very Symphony of the Night in that regard itself. We have this dude over here with a knife. What do you, what do you got? What do you got, dog? G get over here. All right, he's dead. Now, I believe, and again, <clears throat> very much like uh, most Symphony of Nights game, I got a shiv right now. I got that from killing that guy, didn't I? Sweet. Let's check out about equipping that shiv right here. Again, very much like a Metroidvania type of game or, you know, Symphony of Night in general. I just walked into that guy. Well, technically, I let him walk into me because he wasn't really even lunging at me. But um, very much like in those games, you could essentially break the environment around and actually acquire some items like we've been doing over here. What is this going to be? Five gold. Excellent. Now, let me go to my equipment here. I did get this shiv, right? I'm interested to see what this is all about. A small improvised knife made of raw metal. Let's see. Okay, so this has a little bit of a downward slash, while the other was more of a, I guess, like a slash forward. This one seems to have a little bit more range, though, right? Yeah, I would say so. So I'm going to stick to the one that we had initially, because the shift seems to have like a smaller range, but maybe has like some better quality somewhere else. Alrighty, what are we looking at here? A little dungeoning by Falcon. <laughs> Falcon, how proficient are you in platform games? You know what? I grew up with platform games, dog. Alright, the NES was basically, what, 90% platforming after all, and that's what I grew up with, so yeah, I, I, I got this, man, don't even worry. He says that as he fucking falls into the bottom of this pit right now. Yeah, but again, I haven't really messed around with this game prior to, so, um, we are both of us... That's just terrible on my part. Both of us, and by both of us, I mean me and, like, you know, you guys watching. We're kind of going this on this exploration on ourselves the first time here together, so hopefully... You'll be a little bit understanding if we make any sort of uh, mistakes over here. Now, this over here, apparently, I can't get through. I'm going to imagine that at some point or another, you'll be able to crawl in my skin. These wounds, they will not heal. Or um, you'll probably get some sort of sliding attack. So, very much, again, I, I really hate to go back to the Symphony Night references all the time, but, you know, certain accesses or certain parts of the game will be unlocked to you or locked to you until you acquire the proper skills to probably get through them, or even some proper items down the line, too. We'll see how it plays out, but for now, we cannot do anything over here. That's gonna be... <laughs> you know, I actually made that... I did that on purpose. I was just testing out the whole thing if you could do um, fall damage, you know? And apparently you can't, so I'm happy about that. You know, this is a look at, so right now we're just basically looking at the mechanics of the game. I just wanted to confirm whether fall back well, or fall down damage was there, but it's not, so hey. All good, man. Don't even worry. That wasn't even Falcon missing his jump cue. Why would I do that? I could go over there and kill these guys again. Probably a little bit more experience, huh? That wouldn't be too bad. Uh, I have a whole thing when it comes to, like, RPGs. The reason why I can't play RPGs these days is because I have a tendency to grind so much, and whenever I see enemies, it's kind of like, oh, let's go fight them right now. Even though it's going to take this game, like, you know, 70 years to beat because I'm over here grinding away, but, you know, it's an issue that I have. So we could go up here, but we could also jump down that way, right? You know what? Let's actually explore over here before we go up to that one. Ah, uh -huh, good thing I did. We got some tinted glasses, alrighty. Let me just put these on and be like a complete badass over here. Head, tinted glasses. A pair of stylish glasses to protect your eyes from bright light. That's gonna get, uh, increase my intelligence by seven, too. Or, not by seven, but up to seven. Apparently, that's gonna increase my intelligence whatsoever, since apparently I can't do basic arithmetic now. But that's besides the point. Alrighty. I gotta tell you. Sure, but just me, right? But those things just wobbling right there, you know, on those um, cords, uh, <laughs> a little bit. You weren't there the last time around. Yeah, that bat wasn't there the first time around I went through here. I'm just gonna throw you that right now. To, oh, you know what? <clears throat> None of this was here the last time around. I, I get the sneaking suspicion that, um... Well, that I'm a fucking idiot for one, but... I get the sneaking suspicion that... This game... Might just be... Procedurally generated here. And if, if, if it is, then I, I apologize for not making that... Us alerted earlier, but... Huh. You know, I guess I must have misread that? I mean, if, if so, if that's the case, then, you know, that's even more replay value right there, especially if the dungeon keeps changing on you. I gotta do a little bit more research on that. We gotta level up, though, which I'm happy about that. Alrighty, so over here, I'm gonna say let's jump down, and then we'll jump across here. There you go. Let me use the ship on this guy. Oh, that range is so bad. I don't like the range on it, man. Besides, who even uses a shiv that way? You know, I've watched Chronicles of Riddick, I've played the Riddick games, you know, you don't use a shiv that way, I've watched, like, you know, prison movies and prison shows, you know, you just go up there and you just kind of, like, you know, jab at people into the back of their kidneys and whatnot. That's how you bring them down. 
And again, this is like a really good uh, observation of the whole beautiful like artistic artwork in this game. This is like really, really pretty. Again, take a little rest over here. We get our energy back and we'll do another save just for the hell of it. And I have, I'm up to 61 HP, so that means that when I leveled up, I did acquire one extra HP. And we probably got a few um, increased points in our stats too, but I didn't really note what they were beforehand. But no, we did, because you know what? Our intelligence was at, was at 7 with the tinted glasses, and now it's at 8. So yeah, we did definitely get some upgrades right there. So that's good to know. All right, let's continue going forward over here. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Wait a minute. All righty, so we got some barrel jumping going on. This is some DK shit over here, man. Boom, all righty. We're all good. Didn't necessarily go inside the barrel like I thought he would. But then again, I don't think he can, because that might be coal right there, right? So here's we have a predicament. Do we go left, or do we go right? I'm gonna go right first and foremost, but um, we will definitely check out the left afterward. Oh, hey, we have a damsel in distress over here. This is interesting. Thank you for rescuing me, but the rest of my family is still down here somewhere. Visit me at the tavern next time and you are in town and, be, and do be safe. So, hey, there you go. I did mention of uh, possibly getting some people over time in the town itself, and now we have, because apparently saving this individual has now opened up the tavern for us. So, hey, that's good to know. So it definitely isn't a procedurally type of thing, well not procedurally, but over time, uh, assuming you explore pretty well, you will. That was, uh, alright, so I can't wait to the top because, or to, to the end because, um, there's a ceiling right there and can't jump through that. So we have to go at somewhere like midway, maybe here would be good? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Falcon still got it, man. Believe me, oh, let's not jump over here, I want to check this out first. I was gonna jump, but then I saw this box and I was like, you know what, man, my exploring nature is not gonna allow me to do that. But yeah, over time, apparently, you will get you find more NPCs according to your own, you know, um, adventurous nature in finding them. So I, I would imagine, too, that, you know, you could probably... I'm not sure if some of these are, like, you know, key to the story. I'd imagine you could probably even do a few runs where you don't even rescue anybody. Where it's kind of like, nah, I'm a badass. I don't need any help whatsoever. That was probably the worst decision I could have made, but that's okay. I want to check out the right first. I have this thing, man. I'm not sure if it's like, you know, some sort of like uh, OCD type of thing in nature, but I always have to check the right first. We did it at the start of the dungeon too, remember? We went to the right. Ooh, what do we have here? This is new. All right, before I check this out, let me just break this over here. Got some more gold. We're up to 70 now. We could probably purchase a few items too. Okay, we found... Ah, we got a little bit of a journal entry here. Okay, I have done it. This is... Bastin Glob. I have done it! I have finally found evidence of the tribe rumored to live in these mountains thousands of years ago. It may be that these are the ghost raiders mentioned in many ancient texts, but for the purpose of my studies I shall refer to them as the Lodori tribe, in respect to the Lodorian mountains in which they once lived. Alrighty, so we're getting a little bit of a backstory here as well. Some amazing little background um, artwork as well. Interesting. Alrighty. Let's continue going back over here again. It's been paying off so far going to the right, right? I mean, we would have missed um, What's Her Face and we would have missed uh, this little journal entry you could tell us about a little bit of uh, the backstory of the game. I'm telling you, man, these things, they just look like, you know, let's just, let's, you know, let's not even talk about immaturity here, but they look like fucking dildos, man. Can I, can I say that? That's what they look like to me. I mean, I don't have that much experience of them, but, you know, I've maybe been privy to a few films of that type in my age growing up. You know, the internet, what can I say? And that's what they remind me of. Excuse me, Batman? Can you just, like, you know, not be a dick right now? Thank you? Okay. And you. You, you need to eat a bit more, dog. You're, you're kind of really bony there. Alright, you got 85 gold? Excellent. Got these dildos hanging from the ceiling again. Call them that from now on. The, blue, the blue-tipped ones. And let me tell you. We're just dealing with the blue-tipped ones right now. If you deal with the green ones or the, gre or the red ones... Oh, man, you're in trouble then. I'm not even sure if those exist. I'm just kind of making a... Uh, Assumptions here. <laughs> Just based on my apparent dildo information and knowledge here. Alright, we have Sonic the Hedgehog here again. Sonic the Hedgehog kind of works like, um, basically like those dudes from Mario, right? Whatever the names are. And not, I was going to say Ghastly, but that's Pokemon now. Jesus, I'm just all over my video game trivia today. And none of it's really applicable, apparently. Alrighty. I'm not even going to mess with those guys, you know? As much as I talked about, you know, killing every enemy in sight. Those guys are a little bit of a pain in the ass to deal with, so no. Never mind, dog. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, I can't just jump down, huh? Okay. Just jump down this way. Hey, hey. Oh, man, you need to relax with this rush you got going. Oh, yeah, you stop right there. You think about what I just did to your friend. <laughs> Consider a different line of tactic in terms of fighting me instead of just walking back and forth, holding your knife and hoping you'll run into me again. Which, you know, honestly, you, you probably will, considering my... Unfortunate reflexes here. All right, let me go up to this. I guess we got to go here and then barrel. Yeah, that's the one. 
Although this isn't gonna lead too much, but just a crate. But that's all right. I love treasure after all. So what do we got here? We got a bonehead arrowhead. Oh, a bone arrowhead. Let's check this out really quick. It's a trinket. This arrowhead carved from bone is still sharp despite being shot long ago. Interesting. I'm not sure what the trinkets are for, but there you go. We have it now. All right, let's go down over this side. I'm being very lazy, so I'm just gonna jump down. <laughs> Don't blame me. Oh god. Okay, that wasn't lazy. That was just carelessness. Now we want to get to that one over here. Boom, alrighty. Yeah. Get down here, sir. What do we have here? We have five gold extra. Was there a, a drop-off point to the right? Or was there no drop-off point? There, there is, but there's nothing over there. So let's just go down this side. Ah, another treasure. is a big one, too. Do 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 Magic knife. Alrighty. That sounds pretty interesting to me. I'll, uh, of course, you can't equip it, though, maybe. Shiv. There we go. A spell for magical throwing knives. Oh, really? Yeah, well, fuck the Shiv. That hasn't done much for me. Let's check it out. Oh man, this is some uh, Zelda stuff going on over here now. Alrighty, I could get down with this. And again, we are being um, closed off from this area because we either need an item or a skill that we don't acquire, that we don't have right now. But I'm liking this whole throwing knife thing. It'll definitely give us some range against some individuals. Let's go back over here now. Boom, 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 boom. Alright. And let's see what this next level has for us. Let's see the map here too. There is a map system as well. And so far, we've been doing pretty good in terms of um, covering just about everything. The only thing that we can cover was this over here in the middle right now. But that's because we needed uh, some sort of mechanism to control that um, elevator. But so far, we've been actually investigating everything, which I'm happy about. Alrighty. You're done. Dildo Man's down as well. Oh, let's, let's throw some knives. I'm so used to using the um, Excavator to fight now. There you go. A little bit less damage, definitely. But it does give us some range, and that could be really, really beneficial down the line, depending on what we fight. Alright, Hedgehog Man. I'm gonna do this right now, dog. You go down, and then I'll just jump across. All right, that's D. Okay, <laughs> that was a little bit close. We got it. Down through here. Alrighty. Let me just jump down here without knowing what's below me. I get I get anxious sometimes, you know. I mean, what's the worst that's gonna happen? I'll take some damage and sort of like gasp it. It's not too bad. I mean, although the worst that could happen would be like some sort of chasm, <laughs> no pun intended, where I just fall to my death and then it'd be like, you know, pretty much the end of me. But we have another bonfire here, and I think that's the perfect time to actually stop here. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This is a chasm right now. And as you can see, the music so far, I didn't talk about that, has been, it's been really amazing as well. There's a lot of love and devotion to this game, which I'm enjoying. The developers are actually really in keen as to what the alpha Kickstarters, um, are giving in terms of um, feedback and things of that nature, so they're working around that right now. And I believe there's going to be six total areas in the game. So far, we barely even we barely scratched the tip of the very first one. So there is, uh, you know, don't take that the wrong way, mind you. But um, there's a lot left to come with the game right now. I believe summer is the ideal time that they're looking to release. And um, if you want to see some more, let me know. I'll definitely continue onward from here, and we could do a little mini series as to what's available in the game. We could probably cover the two areas. That wouldn't take too long, I don't think. Maybe. But um, let me know. If you want to see some more, I will do some more. Otherwise, if you want to check out the game for yourself or keep it in your hindsight, I will have the information in the description below so you can check it out. Again, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support does mean a lot. I will catch you next time.